Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're looking at three helper scripts for Roll20. One to help you determine the area impacted by a Paladin's aura, one to help you get corpses carted off the battlefield so they don't clog up your map, and one to help you calculate and track when to perform concentration saves for your spellcasters. Note that because we're using the API, a pro account will be required in order to use these. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So the first script we'll look at is called Paladin Aura. This is intended for D&D 5th edition games, and what it does is visually indicates when another creature is within the Paladin's Aura, and it also provides a reminder in chat to add the Paladin's Charisma bonus to a particular roll, like a saving throw. So let's see how to set it up and how it works. Paladin Aura is available in the Roll20 script library, so if you just come in here and you type in Paladin Aura, you'll get the script. This script was written by Leighton Burchell, Oosh, and special thanks to Gustav Morelius. Thank you all for working on this script. It is really cool. Once you've found the script here in the script library, just go ahead, click Add Script, and then the sandbox will restart. You'll be ready to go, and that's all there is to this one. You just start it up and you're good to go. So now when we come into our game, there's a message from Paladin Aura saying that it's ready to go. And my Paladin right here has this little trophy icon on her token with a number three. And that three corresponds to her charisma bonus. So if I open up Kalia's sheet here, we can see that she has a charisma of 16, which is a plus three. So we want to remember to add that plus three to all of her saving throws. Now the cool thing about this is, is that as a level 8 paladin, Kalia has an aura that extends out 10 feet, so that's going to be two squares. If I move her closer to my cleric Zerakiel, you can see that it assigns the same marker on his token, reminding him that he is now within Kalia's aura and he should add a plus 3 to all his saving throws. In addition, Paladin Aura can also pop a reminder in the chat when a character makes a saving throw. So let's open up Zerakiel's character sheet right here, and if I have him make, say, a constitution save right now, you can see that I made the save, and then we got a message from Paladin Aura saying that Zerakiel has a bonus of 3. So we have a save of 15, and then we have a reminder to add 3, so our save is actually 18. Now, in order for the chat reminder to work, there is one tweak that you need to make on each of your player's character sheets. Click on this cog right here, and then come down to this setting, Add Character Name to Templates, and make sure that's set to On. The way this script works is it looks at the saving throw box, and it looks to see if there's a character name there. And if there is, it pops the message into the chat. If there isn't a character name there, it won't pop in the message. So this is great because it means that your NPCs, like the zombies that my cleric and paladin are currently fighting, aren't going to have this message pop up for when they need to make saves, but Zerakiel, Kalia, and any other party members that might be with them would have it pop up. Now, one last thing to mention about this script. When a hostile creature enters the paladin's aura, you will notice that by default it gets the marker as well. That's because the script doesn't know whether or not a token moving into the paladin space is friendly. So if this happens where a zombie moves into the area and you don't want them to have that, what you do is you click on the paladin's token and the script installs this toggle aura target macro. You can just click on that, select the token, and it removes the bonus there. And again, if we run the zombie's character sheet open and I have the zombie make a save, You'll notice it doesn't have a message from Paladin Aura saying that it has any kind of a bonus to that save. It's also worth mentioning that even if I'd forgotten to toggle off the Aura target from the zombie, if I have it make that save again, you see it still doesn't have any kind of a prompt from Paladin Aura because Paladin Aura looks at the player saving throw style box rather than the NPC saving throw style box to determine whether or not to display this message. Now the next script we'll look at is called Corpse Cart. And what you're looking at here is probably a familiar scenario. You've got a bunch of low-level baddies that your PCs have just laid waste to. They're feeling great. But now there's a whole ton of clutter on the battle map to the point where things can actually be difficult to track. So, for example, this zombie right here is still alive and kicking. Well, 
as much as a zombie can be alive and kicking, but I can't see its health bar because there's another dead zombie that's blocking it. What Corpse Cart is going to do is take all of the dead tokens and either delete them or move them to the map layer so they'll still be visible and can still, say, count as difficult terrain. So let's see how we set that up. So what you want to do is come out to this forum post, which I will post a link to down in the video description. And Corpse Cart was written by a user called EE. EE, thank you very much. This is a really great script. The code for the script is down here in the code link. I'm just going to click on that. This is going to take you out to the GitHub page. Just go ahead and click on this raw button right here. Select everything. I'm just going to control A and then copy it all. Control C. And then we're going to jump back to our game script page here. We'll say new script. We'll call this corpse cart and we'll paste in the code and we'll save that. And then once the sandbox restarts, we're ready to go. So here we are back in our game. And this is the command that we're going to run in order to use corpse cart. So exclamation point corpse cart says we're using the corpse cart script. Bury means we're moving the tokens to the map layer. So we could also have Dell in here for delete, but I want to keep things on the map layer. I want to keep all the corpses visible. And then tag means if there's a token that is at zero HP or lower that doesn't have the red X going through it yet, put that red X on it. So let's go ahead and let's run this. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it into the chat and we get this message saying no corpses found to cart. Now, I first ran into this when I was initially tinkering with this script. For some people, corpse cart just works flawlessly out of the box. But then for others, you get this message that says there's nothing available to cart away, even though you have tokens that are dead on the token layer. Now, if you don't have any tokens that are at zero HP and don't have the red X going through them, the script isn't going to find those, right? It's not going to think that there's anything to cart away. But in our situation, I have a bunch of tokens that are on the token layer that have the dead marker assigned to them. And so it should have carted those away. So I did some debugging. And if you run into this problem, there's just a one line tweak that you need to make in order to correct this. Let's see how that works. So what we're going to do is on our script page, we're going to go into corpse cart and you're going to scroll down until you find line 41 right here. This var map ID equals player get last page. We're just going to comment that out, put in two slashes to comment that out, and we're going to replace it with this line of code. And I'm going to place this in the video description as well. So you'll have this. And basically what this is saying is we're going to search whatever page the player ribbon is on in order to find dead token. So I'm going to save this. The API sandbox will reboot. And once that's done, we can go back into our game. We can grab our corpse cart command, paste that in there, run it. And now you see that all of those tokens have been moved And corpse cart is saying that it carted away 13 corpses. I cannot click on them anymore because they are actually on the map layer. So if I go to the map layer, I can click on these guys. But now if I go back to the token layer, I can't. And as you can see here, that's great because it moved everything to the map layer. Now the tokens that are still alive aren't being overlapped and it's easier for me to track things. Now our final script is for concentration. And one of the things that I often struggle with in the heat of a battle is remembering to have either my players or my NPCs make concentration checks when they take damage. So this script will put in a reminder to the chat that someone needs to make that kind of a save when they get hit. Let's see how to set that up. Now this script has a prerequisite. You need to install the token mod script in order for this to work. So search the script library for token mod and load that in. Token mod comes from the arcane scriptomancer himself, the Aaron. So Aaron, as always, thank you for everything you do. We're gonna wanna make sure we add that script in and then head out to this forum post, which again, I will put down in the video description. And this scriptlet comes from Keith Curtis. Thank you, Keith, for putting this together. This is an awesome script. What you wanna do is copy this script and then back on your game's settings page here, go to new script, paste the code in, and we're just gonna call this concentration. Now, before we click save here, there is one other tweak we need to make, and that is we need to specify what icon we are using to indicate that a token is concentrating on a spell. What I mean by that is which one of these glyphs 
means that someone is concentrating. So I've looked through this list here and the one that I want to use is called Aura. So what I need to do is go back into my game screen here and I need to change this concentrating bit here to Aura. And then I also need to make that similar change here in line 17. I'm going to change this from concentrating to Aura. Basically, this is just the name of the marker that's being used to indicate concentration. So we've got those two changes made. We click save and now we're ready to go. So coming back into my game, maybe my mage here is going to cast a spell that requires concentration. So I'm going to indicate that by putting the aura tag on him. And now my paladin Kalia here, she shoots her bow. She hits him does damage, he needs to make that concentration save. So she does say six points of damage to him. And now we have this message whispered to us from concentration. And the first thing it tells us is the save that needs to be made, it's a DC 10. And this is actually a button I can click on to have the mage make that save. And you can see here, the drow mage made the constitution save and so they're good. But if they had lost concentration, I could click this toggle concentration marker and then that would take the concentration marker off of them. So the script is only gonna pop that message into the chat if a token that has the concentration marker on it takes damage. Now that the mage no longer is concentrating on a spell, the pop-up won't happen anymore. Now the other thing to know about this is this is going to be whispered to you as the GM. So if one of your players takes damage while they're concentrating on a spell, this will still pop up and you can click the buttons in order to make the saving throw on behalf of the player. Personally, I don't like doing that. I'm just going to have that be a reminder to myself to say, oh, hey, Zerakiel, you need to make a saving throw to hold concentration on that spell. And the nice thing about this then is, in addition to the reminder, it does the calculation for you as well. So you're going to know what the DC is for that concentration save. Now, to speed this process up even more, you may want to create a macro to automatically apply the concentration marker to a token when someone casts a spell that they want to hold concentration on. Since we've already installed token mod as the prerequisite for the concentration script, we can actually use this command right here, which again, I'll put down in the chat. We're just going to take this, we're going to turn this into a macro, and I'll just add a new macro here paste that in and I'll just call this concentration and we will save that and let's go ahead let's put that in the bar and so now when I click on my mage I can click concentration and it applies the concentration marker to it so there you have it three scripts that'll help speed things along in your games I just want to say thank you again to the scripts authors Leighton Burchell, Oosh, Gustav Morelius, E.E., The Aaron, and Keith Curtis. We really appreciate everything you folks do for the community. And I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.